Good morning, and welcome to our devotional time together this morning. What does Paul mean when he says he's calling Christians to a, a quiet life and kind of mind your own business? A little bit surprising. Let's look at it in the text. We're at 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 11 and 12 this morning. Let me read it. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that you may walk properly toward those who are outside, and that you may lack nothing. Quite an interesting passage this morning. So we need to remember that our kingdom is not of this world, and we shouldn't be hanging on, uh, waiting, just waiting for the next, the latest text, the latest message, the instant message uh, to come over the phone, the latest tweet, the latest YouTube video to come out. We're not here to serve ourselves, and we're not here really to serve the interests of others, the interests that are not of the kingdom. But I've seen a lot of Christians lately who seem to be becoming, they're falling into the hole, the, the big hole. It's a bigger hole all the time, the political hole. A lot of Christians are falling into that political hole. They just feel like they have to become involved and denounce the things that are popular to be denounced and uh, be in favor of the things that are popular to be, to be in favor of. Is that what we're called to do? What we read here is it says, mind your own business, lead a quiet life. You know, maybe... You know, we, we seem like we're anxious to air our opinions on every which thing, but, you know, maybe the world doesn't need our opinion every time on every random thing that comes by. In fact, we sort of feed the idea in the secular mind, the unconverted mind, that, that things of the world are giant in importance and things of faith are small in importance sometimes when we put our big focus on the things that are happening in social media and so on. So look at this very interesting uh, quote here. He wants us to aspire to lead a quiet life, mind our own business, work with our own hands. He's asking us to, to have a, a independence from this world that is surrounding us on every side. Many of us don't have very much independence from this world. What will we do if the big box store closes up for six months? A lot of us would starve to death. Here he says, work with your hands. We should have a certain independence from this world that's out here. What would we do if the internet went down for a month or for a week or for a day? Some of us just about lose our mind if the internet goes down. We need to be tuned to heaven, and these other things are all secondary at best. So let's follow this counsel here. Notice it says also to walk properly toward those who are outside. And maybe, you know, maybe we need to... Uh, make sure that we don't send the message indirectly even that we all need to be on the social media rat wheel spinning all the time and, and going along with what's happening. It might be that that's not useful to people. Are we really acting properly to those who are outside if we, if we are magnifying in their mind the, the importance of the uh, political world or the social media world and we're not magnifying the importance of the kingdom? So I know this is maybe kind of out of step for some of us and... Uh, I'm not going to apologize for it, though. Let's be in the Word. God will help us as we do this counsel. This is good counsel. Good counsel a long time ago. Very good counsel today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, this counsel might rub us the wrong way. Thank you for it, though. I have to thank you. We have to thank you for every counsel, including and perhaps even especially those counsels that come at us and surprise us and sort of sideswipe us and rub us the wrong way. Help us, Lord, to be able to hear your counsel. Show us, in our own individual case, the best way to apply it. Help us to be men and women of faith in the kingdom, first of all, and everything else can come far after that. So, Lord, please help us as we seek to live for Jesus. This is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. So we don't have to always do what the thought control people want us to do. Uh, this world is kind of already engaged in self-destruct mode, and our business is to be followers of the Lord Jesus. It's, it's actually quite simple. It, applying it can be very difficult. The Lord will help us apply it. He'll help you apply it today in your life, if you're willing, if you want to. If you believe this is from Him, I want to encourage you to simplify your day and put God's things first. God be with you today.